welcome back to my garden. Uh, today I'm going to finally get to work in my garden again. It has been very cold and rainy the last few weeks, and so I have not been able to get outside and work in my garden. So I'm taking advantage of a nice day and it's after work, so this is about 6.30 at night. Sun is in my eyes and <laughs> I'm trying to see. And um, I'm gonna plant potatoes. I should have had these in the ground about a month ago, but um, the weather has been such that I just haven't been able to do that. So um, let's get that going, shall we? So here I am in my raised bed gardens. Um, these garden beds here are four feet by eight feet. And then there's another one that goes this way, eight feet by four feet. And I'm gonna use this area here. Now I normally don't plant my potatoes in my garden. I plant them in pots. I thought I'd do something different because you're probably getting tired of watching me plant potatoes in pots. So normally I plant them, let's walk over here, in these blue pots. But to these, I think they're like 25 gallon pots. But I'm gonna save these pots for my peppers this year. So I'm gonna plant them in this bed here. So one thing I forgot to say is these potatoes, I'm a month late planting these potatoes. I've planted them as early as the first week of April. As soon as you can work the ground, I normally plant my potatoes, but I wasn't able to do that. Um, so I'm a month late. Normally I harvest potatoes end of July, um, beginning of August, I start harvesting them, depending on the potato. And this year will probably be a lot later than that. So I'm really hoping that um, mid-August I'll be able to, a lot of times in the garden, even if you plant stuff late, it tends to catch up. And I don't know how that works, but it does. So uh, these should be fine for like a mid-August harvest, I'm hoping. Um, there was a Facebook post not too long ago from the UW Extension office. Um, if you ever want to know what's kind of going on in your area, look up your local Extension office to your college campus. And um, the UW Extension office said that our growing season is two to three weeks behind schedule. So even though I'm about a month late, um, I'm really not that late for what is going on in my area. So um, hopefully, keep my fingers crossed, I won't be too late. So let's get to plant. Here are my potatoes. I got these from Fleet Farm. And I always buy seed potatoes. Um, you can use the potatoes left over from last year if you want and I have done that but if you buy seed potatoes the chances of you getting uh, carryover diseases from last year become less if you use seed potatoes so um, the kind I have these ones are Kennebec whites they are just your basic white potato and as you can see these are very well chitted already, ready to go on the ground. And then the other brand they had was called Dakota Pearl. These are also a white potato. They didn't have any yellow potatoes or gold potatoes like Yukon Golds. So then I was at a nursery and they had some seed potatoes out for 69 cents a pound. And I grabbed a few Yukon Golds. So that's what we're going to plant. I probably won't use all these. I'll just see what I'm going to get to fill up this bed from there to there. I do have some perennials in here. Let me move. This is some yarrow that's grown. This here 
is a sage plant. You can t it's quite old. It's probably about 10 years old. So that goes here every year. And then over here, I have some tarragon. Now I pulled most of this out last year because it was really taking over the bed. And I only have a few plants left, which is more than enough. So that's good. And then I've got a random, looks like a daffodil over there that the squirrels have planted. And that's all I have in here. So I'm just gonna like randomly put these potatoes in the ground and use my favorite tool in the garden, which is a bulb planter. So let me do one here. Just move the ground. I've got leaves as a, as a mulch. And then you just take your bulb planter dig a hole and I'm going down about six inches pull it out grab a sea potato you know, only want your chits these are called chits c-h-i-t-s you only want them on one side and those go up throw it in and fill the hole back up. And then I'm gonna put just a little bit of mulch back on it. And that's all I do to plant my potatoes. If you get a seed potato like this, you can see this has multiple growths on it. You don't need all those growths. So I'm gonna knock these off. I'm gonna knock these middle ones off. I can't do this one handed. You only really need one. It looks like an alien. So I'm going to leave those two on, see what happens. And I'll plant him in the ground like that. So I thought I should show you the spacing that I'm doing. So I'm putting one here. Um, because that's what fits in there. One there, one there. Then I'm putting one here, one here. One there, one there. One there, one there. One there, and one there. I think what I'm gonna do is put one there. So there'll be five in there. Put one there, so there's one, two, three, four, five. And put one there, right there. So one, two, three, four, five. Now the sun is even worse. <laughs> if I go like this, that might be better. There, that's better. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, let me know what kind of potatoes you're going to be growing in your garden. Are you growing them in ground? Are you growing them in pots? Are you hilling them? Doing the old-fashioned way. Let me know what you're doing. And I look forward to hearing about everybody's garden down in the comment section below. All right. Until next time, everybody. Happy gardening. Bye-bye.